Our next guest had us all fooled with her high kicks and splits when she performed as the squirrel on The Masked Dancer last weekend. Almost no one guessed that behind the squirrel mask was actor, singer and performer Bonnie Langford. And Bonnie joins us this morning to tell us all about her experience on the show. But first, let's remind ourselves at the moment, we all found out who the squirrel really was. Unbelievable. <laughs> Good morning, Bonnie. Good to see you. Hi, Bonnie. Good morning. It's great to see you both. How well, are you doing? Good, good. What was that moment like, Bonnie, uh, that reveal moment? What was that like in studio? It's, it's quite weird, actually. It's, it, really, uh, it's quite, it makes you feel really quite vulnerable and quite emotional in many respects because apart from anything else, you suddenly you, you know you've got this freedom, but then you think, what if everyone goes, oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. And, and you think, oh, I don't know that I want to take this off now. You know, oh, there's that Lord. moment where it actually becomes your security blanket. Of course, um, yes. And nobody had guessed me at all. No one had got anywhere near. So it was quite interesting. <laughs> the look of shock that we just saw there in the judges' faces for all the right reasons, Bonnie, because they said <laughs> they thought it was a teenager in the squirrel costume. I mean, you're dancing, <laughs> of course, that's your profession, but so incredible, you fooled everyone. Was it hard, the journey on the show, just in terms of trying to prep for it and all the choreography in that costume every week? Well, yeah, I mean, it was, it was quite a challenge. And what's really nice is that having had the reveal and everything, a few of us have actually connected, a few of the other characters have connected, and we've all gone through that same process. And in fact, it would have been lovely if we'd all known who each other was and we could have gone, oh my goodness, this is weird. Because, wow. you know, you suddenly, you are completely isolated. You don't, the only time you know and dance with the dancers is on the day. You don't actually ever see them. They never see you. Um, and it just feels like all your faculties have been taken away. So it's really nerve wracking. The choreographers and the team were amazing, though. They were really lovely. I'd love to go back and do it again now I know what's going on. Um, and as I say, I was really quite perturbed that I would take the mask off and people go, oh, it's you. Uh, <laughs> that and that, was, that can be quite daunting. That was never going to happen, yeah. Bonnie. Listen, you always <laughs> you strike me as someone who, who likes to challenge themselves because this isn't your first, or wasn't your first foray into sort of dance competition because you did Dancing on Ice. I mean... I do. Why do you do these things, Bonnie? Do you just, is it do you like to challenge <laughs> yourself or why do you put yourselves through this stuff? Well, I mean, I love The Masked Singer. I loved it. I love the whole concept of it. And as much as the rest of the nation, I play along with it. I absolutely yeah. love it. So when they said they were doing Masked Dancer, they showed me a video of um, them doing it in America because they've done a couple of series yeah. in America. And I thought, oh, this seems crazy and ludicrous and fun. <laughs> but talking of talking of dancing on ice, I one day during the shooting, I did actually say, I wonder if Christopher Dean is Beagle. And then ah. Karen Barber, Chris's partner, she contacted me on about the first show and said, Are you squirrel? And I went, I just completely evaded the oh, question. Wow. And I said, Isn't it funny? I thought that Chris was Beagle, perhaps. And then, of course, he got revealed. <laughs> she said to me, she said, you still haven't said yes or no. Well, of course, I'm not going to say yes or no. no. That's the whole process of the game. But isn't that funny? I was standing right next to him all the there way through, and I had no idea. Oh, Bonnie, hilarious. How did you manage to keep it from your family, though? That yeah. must have been quite oh. difficult. Yeah, it was. My daughter knew, and my um, agent team knew, and that was it. I'm not a very good liar. I just would avoid the question. In fact, I'm now meeting up with friends because for the past two months or three months, <laughs> I didn't want to because I didn't want to have a conversation of what have you been doing? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, so now I feel a, a sort of a sense of relief that I can actually <laughs> speak to people. But what was the weirdest thing was last night, I happened to just be watching the telly. I was watching Celebrity Gogglebox just innocently watching it, and they did this whole thing about Squirrel That's and right. my reveal. That was bizarre, watching yeah. people watching the telly, watching me as a squirrel <laughs> on the telly. And you're watching them. That's brilliant. Amazing. My whole, 
And then I was thinking, what they're going to say? Oh no, perhaps I should turn over. This is too much to bear. Bonnie, you've you've worn a lot of hats in your career: acting, singer, <laughs> dancer. You know, you've done a lot. Where are you most at home? Where, where are you most? Are you more happy on stage? Or are you behind a camera? Or where are you most happy? Um, anywhere, really. I love the variety of it all. I love to have new challenges, as has been proven <laughs> Clearly, by yeah. the stuff I've done in my life. Um, I love the excitement and I love the teamwork and I love the family of being in a company of people, of creative people, telling stories. And that's what I've missed so much, that, that mm. connection and the connection with an audience. And, you know, I hope it all comes back. Yeah. Um, Bonnie, you're so multi-talented, as, as Simon just said there. But let's say, for example, when you're working on EastEnders, do you still have to practice your dancing in the evening just in order to stay so agile? Or perhaps if you're focusing on your dancing, do you realise that maybe you're singing, you need to practice that? I mean, how do you keep it all going all the time? <laughs> Well, I, I, I think dance is my therapy. I don't really dance. So that was why it was so nice to do Masked Dancer, because to have to learn routines again, my brain had gone really to mush. Um, but I do, I do keep fit. I do do um, uh, yoga and Pilates, and um, <clears throat> Joe Wicks has helped me through the, the lockdown. And I go to the gym, and I do Rebounder, that bouncing on a trampoline, which I love, because it's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> and not so bad on the knees. But um, I, I only did that sort of through EastEnders and, and through my life because I actually find it emotionally helpful. Mm. So it's just something I've always done. It's, it's like people like to go out and run. I don't like running, so I don't do it. But um, it's whatever actually I think keeps you okay in here, in here, and also physically you feel better for it. So I, I, that's what I do. Bonnie, you mentioned uh, you mentioned theatre, and you know it's a world that I'm very familiar with, and you know that industry yeah, obviously fell off a cliff. You know, last March, oh. I, I saw a tweet from a friend of mine this morning. He just started rehearsals for Phantom of the Opera in London, which started rehearsals today. And I just want to get your take on on what Andrew Lloyd Webber was saying during the week. He, you know, he's putting pressure on the government to get this thing open now. Where where do you stand on mm. it? Well, I did a show last week. I was hosting a show called The Show Must Go On. And um, we did a whole week of it because we needed to um, get that many people in. Who The demand was so big, but yeah. obviously we could only socially distance people. And it was a celebration of um, all the different musicals. There were 16 musicals took part. One of them was actually Phantom. Wow. And we uh, the debut of the new um, lady who's playing Christine, Lucy St. Louis. So um, it was wonderful to be back in a theatre. It's a business. You've got to be able to get enough people in to pay for mm. the business to run. If we can get people back in safely, the sooner the better. I think it's healing. I think people want to come back to theatre. There's something so wonderful and magical about it. But, you know, we have to be careful. And mm. whether that's business... Oh, my goodness, there's me doing a back... <laughs> 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 that was oh, no. scene. I was doing Cats for Andrew, actually. There you go. Um, I, do, I don't know how it stands. I don't know how they're going to work it. I yeah. just wish that the whole thing would would get back to some kind of new because normal, as you but say, we've got Bonnie, to be safe. It, as you say, it's a business, and I don't think people realise how expensive, particularly musicals, yeah. are to put on. So they need those houses full, don't they? They do indeed, and it's the log logistics of it. You know, the fact yeah. is, is that, you know, everywhere you go, you have to have a COVID test. You, you know, lots of us have been jabbed. That's so wonderful. But we have to make sure that not only can we function so that it, it is um, financially uh, possible, but also mm. in, in mm. theatre, you work in very, very, very close contact. Yeah. Mm. Um, so and we've got to be safe. We've got to be safe. Stage. Of course. Uh, Bonnie, I really yeah. hope you're going to take a rest now and a break. Yeah, have a lie down for a minute, will you please? Eat a drink, whatever you want for the next <laughs> while. What's the plans for the summer? I don't know. I'm just chilling and seeing how it goes and see what the world brings. I'm doing a Doctor Who um, audio for Russell T. Davis. You see, of course you are. There's always something on the <laughs> go with Bonnie Langford. Listen, this. Bonnie, it's been a joy <laughs> catching up with you this morning. Keep up and the good you. work. You are a star. Thanks, Bonnie. See you in a theatre soon. Thanks.